Yeah, just tinkering with stuff. So you know, I've got. Um, we're not recording yet, are we? We are. We are. We are. Careful. 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 Oh. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Uh, let me just do this real quick. I wanted to wrap up the last piece that um, you know we were working on last uh, uh, with with the. Uh, let me let me get rid of this guy. By the way, just so you know, Visual Studio now supports like multiple repos, like C internal mock and Odata Neo. When you that's add in cool. a new project, yeah, that's pretty. That's that's wild. That's pretty wild. Um, what what is it doing down there then? Is that just allowing you to to map them in in some way or? Yeah, like if you're pulling in multiple projects from different places, it'll basically go and say, "Hey, th this is you know you're working with multiple repositories here. You know which branch are you actually pulling from, and you can pull from both if you want to." So can you load multiple solutions? Yeah. Yes. Oh man, that's pretty cool, that's, huh? That is a game changer. It is. It really is. It really, really is. So, um, anyway, <laughs> let me let me go to the repository that we're working with here. Some of the stuff I'm working on at the moment, I've got code all over the place, and I dare not like pull it into one mega repository because then you end up with all kinds mm -hmm. of other problems. But being able to like load stuff in multiple repos in different solutions in one that's the S window. I'm telling I'm telling you, yeah, Visual Studio is getting, you know, better and better. Did you see the HTTP piece that I published? Yeah. Really? I reckon cool, if they huh? added a few more <laughs> really basic features to that, like yeah. allowed you allowed you to put say a you know basic some C sharp or JavaScript or something in there. Yes. You could literally replace tools like Postman with just HTTP files. Yes. Exactly. And we and can build out test scripts. Those could be our acceptance tests. You can you can literally make these your your live acceptance that like integration tests rather because the thing is live, right? But yeah. it, it kind of skips this whole idea of well, you still need to randomize the models. You still need to work with you know some random data and stuff like that. You still need to validate. But this is a pretty neat feature for you to kind of be able to you know, kind of just, you know, ping an endpoint and see where that endpoint goes or what the capabilities are of that endpoint. It's really, really neat. Anyway, Definitely. let me see. What did I do to my repository here? Do you remember the branch that we were working on? Let's see here. We were working on... <laughs> Honestly, I think you and oh, Sam great. were doing stuff last time and I came in a little bit late because... Uh, well, yep, I was working um, on... Uh, uh, yeah. I was working on the O query piece. And I remember, let's see here. So mm. clarify something for me, right? We, we've got the basic end to end with selects once we've done finished this little piece here. Uh huh. Um, from here, obviously, there's a lot more O data that needs to be catered for. Mm -hmm. Is it a case of we're going to sort of start working on this a bit more aggressively offline, or do you want? every last line of code on it recorded end to end no no did you see like i told uh i told sam go ahead and uh, get the um get the service done do you yeah. remember i said that right i said hey go ahead get the service done because what i want to do is i want to go and say okay this is you know people have already seen multiple times you know how we do test driven development and all that not every single line of code but i want to make sure that people kind of see what a the actual cycle of software development looks like i also enjoy the conversations to be honest with you you know like you know i use this think about this as a podcast where we're just discussing things and while we're doing that we're writing code which is there's nothing like that out there right so it just happens to be the o data project but in reality, we're actually talking about all other kinds of things like people like, you know, people get to know us now a little bit more because that's how we are when we are working, where we're actually doing things. And uh, hopefully people kind of find this content a little bit enjoyable. I know people watch every single bit of it, you know, when you know, when I do just a quick kind of tiny thing in the system, people say, hey, how come you did that? Even if it was for just one second. Right. So that just tells me that people are actually following and trying to you know, kind of keep up to date with these things, which is great, right? That's, this is all great. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's good to like sort of, like you say, it's sort of unique in some respects because nobody really like records the whole experience. It's kind of like I did a thing and this is what I did offline. It's like, yeah, but 
we want to see you making the decision, like yep. figuring out. Like, Show me in real time what do you look like when you're confused on your trying to solve <laughs> Or actually, yeah. show me, or show me in real time what it's like. Like engineers, when they disagree on something and they discuss something, how do they come? Nobody's recording that, right? Yeah. They'll be like, ah, a bunch of engineers are just chatting with each other. We don't know what they're doing, right? No, I don't want to do that. I want it to be a little bit. I think the engineering process. I'll, I'll tell you this again: the engineering process is more enjoyable to me than the product. You know, yeah. like like whatever comes from the other side, great, right? But the process itself, that's fun to me. That's my fun. You know yeah, I mean? to, to my mind, it's, it's a lot about kind of throwing a problem out there and just saying, hey, what's your thoughts on it? Because sometimes people, they do throw you for a proper curveball. And you look at it and you think, I never would have thought to think like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, although sometimes it's frustrating in, in our sessions, you know, I've said to you offline, like, I get put on the spot and I look like a complete idiot at the time. But actually, you come away thinking, what did I learn from that? Yeah. And it's surprising. <coughs> God, I still got this bloody cough. Surprising mm -hmm. how much you learn from just being put on the spot. And it's yep. weird, but like day to day, that's literally what's going on inside dev teams. Like the number mm -hmm. of times I've been presented with a problem, like the boss has said, hey, get this done. And I'm like, how the hell am I going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> And then you, you sort of come away and you think, well, th there's got to be an easy solution for it. And ultimately, you know, nine times out of ten in programming, it is what you end up with is dead simple. But yes. like just figuring out that like that whole process, I feel there isn't enough content on the Internet that's showing how that happened. Exactly. It, it's just kind of like, look at this. It's dead simple, right? And it's like, <laughs> but how did you get there? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I see this a lot. I see a lot of people kind of go back and forth and they're like, hey, you know, what What do you mean by that? Um, um, uh, anyway, so so I, I don't see, let's see, I don't see the service exception. So pull the code because I'm going to give you a failing test, like literally right now. And let's create... Let's create that pull request. Which branch are we in? Um, are you, is that you or me? That's you. It, it's 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 Hassan Habib. This is me. This is me. What's on the screen right now? No, uh, no, no. Somebody got a Teams call then. Oh, that was me. Oh, that was you. Uh, I, was gonna, I was like, uh, 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 I'm no, not no, getting no, notifications. Not you. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> no, that was me. That was me. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what branch are we in? Uh, we are... Uh, Hassan orchestrations dash o query process. Nice. Okay. And I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a failing test in a second, and we gonna make it pass. Nice. Okay, my friend. So here is one, and this is a just a service exception. So it's just a normal exception. To service exception, and then O expression. Oh, uh, okay, 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 perfect. Okay, so we want a failed O query orchestration service exception. So well, none of these exist yet. But I'm gonna bring them in in a second. Zoom in a little bit just for people watching. Just throw service exception on process if service error occurs. It's done. And then here is your the service exception goes right in here. And then O expression. This will be failed O expression as uh, service exception. And that guy will be what comes here. This will be service exception. So we need two of these failed. I know expression service exception, and then I'm going to go into the models under orchestrations, under all queries. Do us a code drop and put the models under foundations, please, uh, uh, Paul, when you get a second. Not not now, but when you get a second. So here is, this is a service exception in here. And then I'm going to go up in here and say, this is all query orchestration service exception. That takes care of this.
by the way, Visual Studio now has like um, spelling check. You know that? Yeah, I noticed that it's doing a lot of like. So, like, if you put comments in your code, it's like spell mm -hmm. checking your comments. It's like mm -hmm. what the. So it's smart because it knows the difference between code and not code. Like if I go and say dog, right? But you can also say, you know, uh, red dog, and it knows that this is not a spelling error. But watch this. If I say red doggo, it will tell me, I hope, unless red doggo is a thing. Is that a word? <laughs> Aw. Why? Uh, maybe maybe if it's a variable, right? So public yeah. void foo uh, var red uh, go equal something. Yeah, uh, no, that's not yeah. it. Interesting. What if I say red car? Yeah. Ra. Nothing, really? Uh, I think I have seen it, though. I, I think it's... um. Is it only for but... strings? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's comments and it's stuff that's not code, like you said, because it knows the difference between code and not code. Um, Weird. It was <laughs> doing it. DGO must be something. I don't think it is. I don't know. It was working like a second ago. You saw it. It's recorded. I'm not crazy. Yeah. You're crazy. <laughs> 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 so so let's do this. So I also need a failed uh, service exception. So this is. Failed. We're, we're testing the orchestration service at this point, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. For the complete, um, it's the complete chain of. Yep. Um, so, uh, sorry, the complete chain of wrapped exceptions is what we're looking for, right? Right. So this is inner exception, <sighs> and this is exception is coming from here, and then this is failed orchestration or query orchestration service exception. And this is failed or query uh, orchestration oh, service error occurred. Really, you're not going to correct? See, see, it, with or query, it says, what is that? See, it doesn't know. So sometimes, I guess sometimes it works, sometimes it does. But anyway, let's go back to yeah. this. What that basically means that this service exception is going to be this, this. Uh, o query orchestration service exceptions that fixes this guy. <laughs> and then on, that means our expected will be this guy. So that means we need to change that. <clears throat> okay, so this is all once generate and then it throws the exception and blah. Okay, so this should fail. This is the last one in this PR and we can close it. Nice. <clears throat> Is that the whole stack um, exception tested then, isn't it? Yeah, this is the last one. This is the one. Nice. I was, yeah, this is the one I was telling Sam to get it done here. Go ahead, make this pass. Oh, you want me to screen share? Don't you? Do you have Visual Studio or starters? Uh, I used it once a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> all right, uh, share screen uh, window. Yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Does that look right? Uh, that's no data solution, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I pull. Um, so I just run all the tests, and there should be one failing, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, the, there's the internal mock thing, so. I was going to say, is this the internal mock thing? Yep. What's funny right. is that it never fails in the pipeline. Somehow in the pipeline, it works just fine. Yeah, it's like I said, it's some sort of weird threading, race conditions, something like that. I want to um, have a perhaps an offline session with you, and we can mm -hmm. go through and see if we can reproduce it in the internal mock um, repo somewhere in a unit test. Because if we can reproduce it, then I can poke and prod at it until I fix it. Mm -hmm. um, but Absolutely. I'm having trouble reproducing it, basically. Uh, so it's this one, isn't it? Oh, queries. Is yep. that right? Uh, so this is the one that we care about. Mm -hmm. You going to open it? Come on, Visual Studio. Good luck. Uh, 
type in the file. <laughs> God damn it. I thought you could just double click on the test and it would take you to it. It should. I don't know what happened to your Visual Studio. Yeah. You okay. broke it. Uh, okay. Oda and Neo Core Tests. So we're in here. Uh, not foundations, orchestrations, no queries. Exactly. No query orchestrations tests, uh, exceptions. This one? Yeah, um, all the way at the bottom. It's the last test, is it? Yeah, that's one. the one. Sweet. Let's pull this out so we can have a look. <clears throat> okay, so in the uh, service, which we're calling here, yeah, calling process o query async, and we need to make sure that our try catch inside it's that. Mm -hmm. uh, this one here is returning the correct exception, which is, what was it? Um, no query orchestration exception. Mm -hmm. uh, is that for all exceptions? Yeah, well, you just need to catch that exception, the generic exception. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, right. So just on yep, catch. catch of anything else, you yep. just... Uh, just throw a new one of those. Yes, call it exception, please. New. Apologies, bad habits from the community. And then and then create create a localized one, Paul, called failed orchestration. Nope, that's not gonna work. You need to create a new variable inside that called var failed uh, oquery orchestration service exception. Failed and query orchestration exception. Service exception. Service exception. Service exception. Yep. Uh, and then and then you need to create a new instance called create a new instance called uh, failed oquery new failed oquery orchestration service exception and then pass that variable to your final exception. So after the equal sign, take a new line. New. There it is. It's writing it for you. But, you know, new failed and then failed or, or query orchestration. Yeah, that's what I have. This one here, yeah? Oh, this is a different one. This is the categorical one. Oh, right. Okay. So is it no nope. paste? Yes, sure. And then you need a new one that you're going to throw. And that one that you're going to throw is going to be the final one, which is the O query orchestration service exception. Right. Uh, a query orchestration service exception. That one. Yep. Pass that failed thing to it, and you are done. Let's put it in a new line. Eh, it's fine. Uh, okay. This one. Yeah. Let's run your test and see. This should pass the test. Beautiful. Done. That's it. Commit that guy. Create the pull request. And that's it. So that's this. And I do this. And it's is it thin arrow, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Pass. Yeah. Commit all at once. Hey, I'm remembering stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Check me out. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what? what did I do wrong? <laughs> you could just drop the thing and say commit all and push. That would do the trick for you. Ah, oh, well, same effect, right? Push it and up. push. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so now, now create a pull request. You get to create the pull request. Nice. All, all uppercase orchestrations, and then just type in process queries. Um, <coughs> orchestration. Sorry, I'm not sharing my whole screen, am I? Yeah. Um, we don't see it. Hang on. Uh, stop and present. Might as well show the whole thing, haven't we? End to end. Uh, Chrome. So entire screen. Here we go. Screen one. Share. I'll zoom in a little bit so people can Let's do it. There we go. Right. So we'll... And then colon and then type in O query processing. That's it. O query processing. Processing. 
thing. Put a put a colon after because yeah, perfect. Just create that pull request. It's perfect. Do we don't we don't need a comment or anything? Do we? Nope. We're good. No. Cool. Cool. I'll take it from this side. Beautiful. I'll go here. Is Odata Neo. And false pull request. We're almost there. Almost done. Why is GitHub tripping today? <laughs> <laughs> if it can go wrong, it will go wrong, right? It's mm -hmm. the law of the law. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay. So we by the way, Paul, it looks like your it looks like your commit uh, data is not reflecting who you are. Like this happens when you're, um, when 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 who you're defining yourself to be on GitHub, you don't have the user set up right. And uh, huh. even though say it says you because you opened that manually by hand, but from your commit history, you're not. It's not doing the right thing. Anyway, right. I'll have to have a look at that. This guy's merged. Now we need one coordination service, and that should do the trick for all of us. So let's see if we can do this Freud. What do you think about that? Freud. Sounds good. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Take care. Okay. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>